What's up, people? Today we're gonna go check out the Winchester Mansion. We're so excited. We're gonna watch the Winchester movie. Holy crap, this is really happening. Carrie, this is happening. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Winchester Mansion. We made it. Considered one of the nation's most mysterious houses, entering the Winchester Mansion is an incredible feeling. As we walk in, we're immediately greeted by spiritual forces. It's a constant feeling of lingering souls and unfinished business. Yeah, well, there are raccoons with messed up face. Anyway, uh... <laughs> That's how it all started. That's... Apparently... Apparently, Sarah Winchester had this big fear that her life was cursed. It was based on death and, and it was wicked and therefore she was cursed for life and... That's what she, she, she thought. She her felt curse bad. Constantly felt her, but I believe, or followed her, but I do believe that she was a sensitive and very, very ahead of her time. I don't think a lot of people understand how brilliant she was. I mean, even you can tell how her brilliance by just looking at her, the architecture in the home. She had wonderful aesthetic taste, and um, parts of the house are beautiful. She had great foresight in my world, in my my mind, and. She really felt like she had a curse that followed her. And, she felt and, guilty. Well, she was sensitive. She understood that her her wealth came from death. You know, it was followed and and, and, and it was uh, revealed through God. So I don't know. It's, uh, what's fine, what I find what I find crazy is the fact that they had seances here on a regular basis, she was a communicating with communicating with uh, the and dead. And you can so. see that it's indicative in, in her home and the architecture of her home. I mean, that right there already puts my uh, was, my skin like. Yeah, I think that she consulted us, you know, a, a, a medium, but she was a medium of some sorts. Although riddled with paranormal activity, the house itself is a work of art. As we walked around, our sensors captured something very strange. Right now I'm feeling lightheaded and dizzy in certain parts of the room. Um, and there's areas where it's really heavy, we captured all some activity. And uh, check out the footage. The Winchester room is perhaps the room that freaked me out the most. It was there that I opened up my SLS ghost app and what I saw gave me chills. I detected various energy readings from multiple areas along the house, and it appears as if something jumped from the couch to the wall, with strange occurrences all around. The door opened and closed by itself. What a trippy ass house, man. Wow. The entire house is a giant maze, with stairs, doors, and windows that lead to nowhere. This is the one place that you don't want to get lost in, day or night. Right off the bat, I can tell you this place is super fucking charged. Wow. Door just goes down to nowhere. It goes nowhere, dude. It's crazy. What do you think so far? Uh, I think if I wasn't getting dizzy the whole time, all is red. Yeah, some energies are really heavy here. Really heavy. Yeah, we've already been through here, so I think it's that way. There are parts of the house that are like beautiful, absolutely gorgeous areas. And some are very eerie, but some others are just really, really charged, like very, very scary. And um, very, very weird, you know? Every single frame on the doors has 13 uh, screws, it's weird. As we made our way out of the house, we felt a sigh of relief. Tell me. There are areas in the house that are heavy, like it's just maybe I'm more sensitive, but I just felt like the jolts up my back and you can kind of just feel presence. Actually, you f I felt a lot of things when I was in there, I'm not gonna lie. That was a lot of fun. I wanna go check out the garden. Let's do Why it. Why don't you follow us? Let's go check it out. What's funny is that the, our tour guide is exactly four feet 10, I was gonna the same her. size as Sarah. 
coincidence. So there is a basement, but it's not available. No, but, but the basement will be open once they start doing the haunted And that's what they said they've seen uh, Clyde, the wheelbarrow. Yes. Moving and in around. July, this is what it used to look like if you want to take footage of It's that. beautiful, man. Look at that. I mean, it's really a beautiful property. It's just so mysterious and eerie. It's riddled with mystery, but, yeah. you know, and I think that's what keeps people coming back. According to reports, Sarah was very good to her staff, and some stayed with her for over 30 years. It's no coincidence then, as we walked around, we captured one of those lingering spirits still working for her. First, the picked prunes were brought over to those two tables and sorted. The bad fruits There's were tossed someone down the right there right now. And the good fruit was dipped in lime yeah, water. Yeah, man, look. The lime water cracked the prune skin so that they would See dry that? easier. Yep, I did. Then we placed the fruit on wooden trays and loaded trays into the metal racks Hello. on the evaporator. Hello. See, some of the areas here are so peaceful and beautiful. And there's so many beautiful areas. Sarah Winchester used to love to garden, so. I know, I know. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm just... Fields. Wow, this is incredible. Thank you so much. So, do you work also nighttime? Yeah, I work till 12 30. How is it at nighttime here? <laughs> Tell me the truth. It was scary. It was? Yeah. They um, pulled my hair and they called my name. And right here by these fountains, they shoved me. They pushed me. I almost fell in the fountain. Are you serious? Yeah. How long ago was this? Oh my god. So you've been here for a while. Yeah. My God, yeah. but it's so beautiful. Like areas here are so beautiful, but at the same time, there's there's also kind of like that that there is a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. yeah. What happened? I'm like, they broke the glass. I go, see, I go, they don't want you touching that. And the basement is right there. In fact, by those doors over there, the basement's there. So it's going to be open. So, you, so who you broke it? Somebody hit my boss because he went to go touch the, the door like this. And when he was training these guys, and they punched it and they broke the glass. It's just like he didn't see anybody. It was just like a spirit. That is so bizarre. Mm -hmm. So it was disembodied. So you have some angry spirits here sometimes. I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, there were some areas where we were walking through where it was we got dizzy. I do too. The fountain you got shoved and you were with her. Yeah, and it's funny because there's a lady over there with a little tray and there's change in it. And I was just saying to her, sometimes I take the change and as soon as I said that she went flying into the Wait a minute, so then you went flying. Like, the Why do they pick on you? What? <laughs> At Halloween, you close at 1 o'clock in the morning? In there, the gift shop, I used to go in and open up everything up at 6 o'clock. We'd walk in, as soon as I walk in, things would fly off the shelves. What? And I would pick them up, and as soon as I did, things off the back shelf would fly off, and I'm like, you know what, I'm not here to clean, I'm here to do my job. <laughs> so you wouldn't, so, uh, you wouldn't react to it? No. You kind of tone it out? Yeah. And it clears it. Good, that's the best thing to do. Hallelujah. Uh, deep breaths. If you weren't a believer in the paranormal, now you are. <laughs> yeah? Very, very trippy. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad we came through. We're like light beings. Would you mind telling them the story you told about the child that said I What child said I might my foot? Yeah, I was uh, walking through the break area at nighttime and there's a big wooden fence and I was opening the fence. Nobody there. Nobody's there. Everything's closed. The parking lot's empty. Oh my god. 
What about like lights and and noises and stuff that yeah. you hear? One time I was sitting in the Winchester room with another guard, and it was like midnight, and the lights started flickering, and we we're like, oh, what's that? And it stopped, and then it started doing it again. So they, I don't know, we're just I don't know what they're just going off of. voices, footsteps, yeah. and and then you know those velvet ropes they have, like yeah, the things off. They were showing they had a video of it. One of them started going around in a circle, and it was doing it for like five minutes. Just. Just by itself. Must be that Somebody kid. Was saying, what's going on? What's <laughs> and it was just spinning around for five minutes. Unreal, unreal. The Winchester Mansion. Wow. This I mean, is. I didn't really believe there was anything here because I kind of believe in ghosts, but I mean, no one was murdered here or anything like that. But, but I know nothing really exciting. A couple of people died here naturally. But they wanted to stay. Yeah. They wanted to stay. Yeah. They didn't. I, then all the weird things happening. It's like, okay, there is like something. The seances are the ones that kind of like freak us out because once you open that that gate, yeah. then you're gonna have a lot of activity. Yeah. And so, Robin and Elizabeth, I love you girls. <laughs> you girls are awesome. Anyways, we'll see you guys soon. And hopefully for Halloween. If you're here, we'll see you again. See. Stay safe, ladies. Thank you. No more graveyard shifts. <laughs> wow! Oh, that's, crazy. <laughs> that's insanity. That's crazy, yes, dude. I know. Unreal, dude. This is the stuff that happens like after this hours. Is, You're, like this wow. is. I mean, we were able to get two stories from two separate ladies who actually are here before and after. Uh, nobody is here, so they get to see the nitty gritty of this place and really, really get an understanding of what actually goes down. And so these are people that are, you know, not that they're non-believers, but they told the stories of events that have occurred here yeah. that they weren't even ready for. I mean, yeah. It was just... The real deal, guys. What? Dude, that's so crazy. All right, we're off to our next adventure. Thanks a lot for joining us. Like and subscribe here at Every Turn New Adventure. Here. Subscribe. We love you guys. Peace.